Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MPJ New Album Rock Review Show. I'm your host, Nigel. Welcome to our wonderful panel, to Trish, to Paul, and to Chris, who's definitely not handsome, so you can ignore his name and his title down there. Welcome, gang! Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Um, what's the show all about? Well, we review all the latest uh, rock albums. We tell you what we think. Um, we rate them for our listening pleasure, no more than that. And then we tell you if they manage to get into our Hall of Fame. And if they manage to do that, they may get into our Album of the Year show. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown because um, so far, we're about halfway through the year, and our top 10 albums of the year so far uh, Pain and I Am, uh, The Struts, um, Pretty Vicious. P.O.D. and Veritas, Dead Poets Society of Vision, Goth Minister, Pandemonium, The Battle of the Underdark, Atreyu, The Beautiful Dark of Life, Amaranth, The Catalyst, Static X, Project Regen, Volume 2, Dominion, Hey Living People, While She Sleeps, Self Hell, Unleash the Archers, from this month, uh, with uh, Phantoma and Serenity with Nemesis AD. Those are our top kind of 10 albums at the minute, uh, but we have reviewed about, in total, 300 and well, we'll be 384 albums, um, and so far this month's about 80 odd. I know, very exciting. Um, but so, well, who are we going to kick off tonight? Uh, we are being kicking off with uh, Annette Olsen and her new album Rapture. Um, Annette um, Ingrid Olsen, born June the 21st, 1971, known by the stage name Annette uh, Olsen. Uh, but there we go. Um, is a Swedish singer best known as a former lead vocalist in Finnish symphonic metal band Nightwish from 2007 to 2012. She's also the vocalist of the Swedish classic rock band Alison Avenue and the Finnish uh, heavy metal band The Dark Element. Who t- did you all know that? Um, let's find out. Paul, let's start with you then. Uh, what did you think of uh, Annette Olsen? Yeah, so yes, for five years she fronted uh, Nightwish, uh, after which she was unceremoniously dumped from the band. Um, she has um, since established herself as an artist, writing her own material. Now, I've not followed uh, Annette's career, and if I had, I would be raving uh, and giving this fine album um, a fabulous review. Uh, she has upped the ante uh, with a heavier, a more symphonic creation than a previous melodic uh, metal work. Unfortunately, she has done this at a time when nearly every other symphonic band has added the growling in the background and industrial metal elements to their tracks. Therefore, personally, while appreciating, appreciating Annette's superb voice and creativity, the quality of the music, etc., I'm getting fatigued by the unneeded growling elements in in songs. If you're a fan of Annette Olsen, this would be a shot in the arm album and, and wake you up to what is currently um, in the genre. If you're like myself, if yeah, you'll probably feel it wasn't needed. Well, somebody who's always needed, always needed, and that is our new metal queen. We've changed our nickname, people. New metal queen. Um... Trish, what did you think? Okay. So, the opening track picks you full on with power metal, cleverly mixed with the Lord's Prayer, which then leads into a rapture singing about judgment and rapture in heavy crowns. So, I'm getting this album has a religious tendency theme, but as the album went on, it lost me a little. It sounded much the same in each song and story. That being said, a great power metal not to be ignored, but listened to loud. Well, we always listen to, we try not to make him loud, but it, we always try to listen to him. Uh, Chris Dunnage, welcome, Chris. Welcome to the show. You, you've been out of the silent kind of ninja in the background, like. uh, but you're with us tonight. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah, I sneak in occasionally and sneak out again. You do? Just so that I can leave a lasting legacy. What do you think? Well, uh, so tell us, tell us your legacy story of Annette Olsen then. What do you think? So, actually, I didn't do any research. I, I've taken now to just try and take these albums in encapsulation and just see how I feel with them. Having just found out that she was the singer for Nightwish all that time ago suddenly makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, it does make me like the album anymore. Uh, I found it very, very difficult to take seriously because it takes itself so seriously. She is 
very operatic and always has been. Um, I'm familiar with her from her Nightwish days. Um, but because of all that pomp and that opera and her, I don't want to say excitement, but almost excitement, I just couldn't take it seriously. So it really fell flat for me. Uh, oh, uh, interesting. Um, well, look, w- w- once we started this journey and um, I-, I really hadn't come across kind of s- symphonic metal bands, I've written it, Nightwish had passed me by, um, but I discovered obviously that this is definitely my jam. It's right up my alley. Um, I love that power symphonic metal with um, with those really powerful um, lead, vo- uh, lead vocals, and this obviously was right up my alley. It ticked all my boxes. I absolutely loved it. I loved the fact that um, there wasn't that much growler in it, and I'm with Paul. I, I hate growler. There wasn't a lot of in there. It was just a little bit, um, and it was bearable. Um, so for me um it was just absolutely spot on and i loved the fact that obviously there was you know that story of kind of good and evil and and she used some of like you know re- religious kind of prayers um like the lord's prayer and stuff and she used it really cleverly i thought it wasn't about chucking christianity on your face but she used it to accentuate that kind of battle between kind of good and evil um and i thought it was brilliant i, I particularly like uh, the day of wrath um, he the call and rapture I absolutely loved it right up my alley absolutely adore this album it was uh, it was perfect for me um, and puts me up there with those sort of symphonic metals and her, and her voice is glorious her voice is I mean no wonder she was lead singer for Nightwish so um, but there we go we're just going to pause right there so we let Dave in um, to, to, to the um, to the gang hi Dave how are you doing yeah, not too bad. Your time is perfect because I've just finished uh, uh, telling people what I thought of Annette Olsen, um, and so is everybody else. So we're going to throw you in the deep end because I know you probably love this album. Uh, and if you do remember, Night- she she was the lead singer of Nightwish, uh, by the way, Annette Olsen. So I don't know if you were a Nightwish fan, but there we go. No. So tell us how wonderfully you thought of this album, Dave. Yeah, no, I thought it was garbage myself. Yeah, not really my sort of thing at all. Um, I got to admit, I got about halfway through it, got bored, turned it off, and went, I'll come back to that later, and then like listen to the <laughs> second half of it at another point. It's, it's just not my sort of thing. I'm sure people that are into this sort of music will love it, but it's definitely not me. Why? Well, it doesn't look like this one's going to get into Hall of Fame, so let's um, let's find <laughs> out our votes then. Uh, going around, uh, Paul, what what did uh, what did you give it, Olson? I give it a, a three. A three, uh, Trish. I gave it a three point five. Dave, I gave it a one. Uh, handsome Chris, two point five. Two point. Uh, you give the, Dom five, give it the yeah. same Dom give it 2.5 um, I give it a 5 <laughs> 5 from not me five. 5 not 3 not 4 not no 5 way. 5 right up my alley right up my alley um, so we dropped the uh, can, so we always keep it in the rally, mate. I, uh, want it. I loved it I thought it was brilliant. I had uh, three songs gone to my cool playlist. It was right on my alley. So, so we dropped the weakest score, which was Dave. Um, so we ended up with a three point three. Um, so uh, we reviewed eighty four albums so far this year. Um, so it's dead in the middle practically. Uh, it's our forty sixth favorite album and our two hundred fourth out of three hundred eighty four albums. Um, so it's got a good score, three point three overall kind of a bit of love hate going on there as well i suppose but there we go um anyway so if you do like uh, symphonic power metal uh, check out the album um, um it's a cracker and if you're obviously a bit of fan of uh, net olsen you're gonna love it so thank you very much to my crew tonight thank you to um to trish um to the arriving late dave but we love him anyway chris and paul good night everybody good night yeah. Bye.